Guy Watts and Andrew Delaney are men on a mission. They're training for one of the most gruelling challenges ever, the Indian Ocean rowing race. There will be no sails or motors, just pure manpower to get them through. I'll be rowing for two hours while Guy eats, sleeps, sorts himself out for his next shift. So, um, and, and that's the way it will go for 24 hours a day, seven days a week until the finish, weather dependent. So, yeah, pretty, pretty crazy. The pair will start their record-breaking attempt in Geraldton on the west coast of Australia on the 19th of April next year. They'll battle high winds and strong currents and hope to end their adventure in Mauritius, four and a half thousand miles away. The conditions here at Ardingly Reservoir are a far cry from what the lads can expect in the Indian Ocean. The water is going to be far more hostile. But the idea behind the training here today is to increase their rowing experience. Although Andrew is an experienced rower, Guy is still learning the ropes. Instead, he's an endurance sports enthusiast, so he's used to pushing his body to the limit. But he knows that nothing can really prepare them for what might be thrown at them along the way. I'm obviously like sharks, and uh, <laughs> that's the major, everyone's sort of, that's the fear factor, I suppose, of doing it. But actually, it's more the sort of mental side of it, the fact that you're with one, per one person for three months. Um, that's something that we, we're trying to prepare for at the moment. We spend pretty much all our days together working on raising sponsorship money and um, obviously training as well. The pair hope to complete the challenge in three months and this is where they will eat and sleep over the 12 weeks. All they need now is sponsorship to help them raise the money they need to fulfil the challenge and raise some money for a charity called Orchid which helps men with cancer. Oh. 